you're not crazy, you're just first. All right, I want you to hear me out on this because this is a life-changing concept and it's also true. So you might be thinking, what do you mean I'm first? I'm not the first to do anything. My ideas, someone's already done them, you know, that kind of thing. I bet someone's done them better than I have. All right, I want you to just take this in for a minute because when you embrace your firstness, it not only helps build really, really strong self-worth, but it can change how bravely you show up in the world. It's who you truly are. It can change your perspective on whether or not you feel like you belong or not, whether or not you feel like people get you. Uh, literally, it can help you realize that the things that you thought maybe were odd or quirky or off about you are actually almost always the things that are most right with you. So this idea, you're not crazy, you're just first. So hear me out. And I go into this really deep into how to embrace this fully and worthy. There's a whole chapter and a poem called, you're not crazy, you're just first. Here's the thing. There is only one of you in the entire universe. There's never been another you before. There'll never be another you again. And if you're saying, well, what's the big deal? Just think about this for a minute. You are the only one in existence with your fingerprints, right? You're the only one in existence with your tongue print. Yep, we all have a unique tongue print. You're the only one in existence with the iris of your eyes. You actually have a unique heartbeat that no one else in the world has, right? And think about this, you are the only one that has the set of experiences you've had in life the only one to feel the emotions that you feel at any moment exactly the way you feel them. You're the only one that sees art and beauty and ups and downs and highs and lows the way that you do. You, if you are one of the brave ones willing to actually show up in this world as who you authentically are, you're first. If you're one of the, now if you show up as your representative or try to be like someone else, etc. but if you're one of the brave ones showing up as who you fully authentically are, you are first. And when you are first, do not be surprised if not everyone gets it. Don't be surprised if you might walk into a few rooms and feel like you don't quite belong. Don't be surprised if you feel like someone just doesn't get you or you don't fit in. You're first. There's never been another you before. And there's never been, there never will be another you like you. This concept is huge because so many of us feel like, oh, I've got to change who I am to fit in. Or, you know, people have been calling me odd or quirky or off or different or strange, right? Or crazy, you're not crazy, you're just first. You're just first. And here's the thing, when it comes to your ideas, your goals, your dreams, your art that you wanna put out there in the world, your business that you launched or that you are in the process of launching, right? Don't be surprised if not everyone gets it at first. Because if you are doing, listen, I don't care how many people out there have done the idea before you, if you're doing it authentically to you, no one's ever done it, right? Like when I built it cosmetics, there was thousands of makeup companies doing thousands of foundations and concealers, but no one had done it the way I was going to do it authentically to me. So by definition, that excuse of like, oh, someone's done my idea or something, uh-uh, it's impossible if you bring who you authentically are to that idea, to that business, to that piece of art, to that expression, to that offering to the world, you're first. No one else has done it quite like you. So when it comes to your business or your ideas or your art, if you're putting it out there and you feel like it's not getting traction or you're not sure why, or maybe you're showing it to like experts and touted visionaries and you're wondering why they don't think it's gonna succeed, Here's why, I'll tell you why. Because when I built It Cosmetics, I was doing it so differently, almost everybody told me it's not gonna work. Like so many of the experts I put on pedestal said, it's not gonna work. And listen, they wanted the best for me, but even touted visionaries, even experts, subconsciously, they're not gonna believe something's gonna work if they've never seen it work before. There's no social proof it's gonna work. So if you're doing something that is authentic to you, 
There's no, they've never seen it work before because it's never been done. So it is, if I had learned this lesson, by the way, y'all, I would have saved myself so many nights crying myself to sleep. Like thinking like, why is everyone not think this idea is gonna work, right? <clears throat> many of us know the outcome. Eight years later, a hundred hot weeks later, it cosmetics grew to a billion dollar business. But for many years, because I was doing it authentic to me, it wasn't working in the beginning. People didn't quite get it in the beginning. And a lot of experts said it would never, ever work. And so I want you to really take this to heart, okay? That when you are doing something authentic to who you are, it has never been done before. It has never been done before. And so you got to get really, really good at cheering yourself on at believing in the, the offering you're putting out there into the world, whether it's in the form of just showing up as who you are and all that you are, whether it's in the form of a business or creation or ideas or art, you have to get really, really good at cheering yourself on because what I have learned is most people will cheer you on after you make it, <laughs> after the thing catches on, after people start embracing it. So in that journey, I want you to remember this. If you're doing something that you feel like others are like, I don't get it, doesn't quite fit in, you don't quite belong, right? You're, you're different or odd or strange or crazy. Uh-uh, uh-uh, you're not crazy. You're just first. And I just wanna share one more thing. And again, there's a whole chapter in Worthy uh, called You're Not Crazy, You're Just First. And we go deep into how to really look at your identity and build your self-worth around this. Because for so many of us, feeling like we are not enough and don't belong can take root at an identity level. I remember growing up, I have five families. I was adopted. It's a whole story. But I remember so many of my loving, well-intentioned family members would say things to me like, um, you're so odd or strange or crazy. I, I would have these big ideas on how to impact the world or, you know, solve global problems. And I mean, I didn't even know what I was talking about at the point, at, at that point in my life, but I just had these big, you know, dreams and ideas and thoughts. And they would literally, so many of them would always say like, you're crazy. Like, who do you think you are? Like, you're, you're crazy, you know, all that. And I remember there was this moment in my life when um, in my 20s, I'd gone to therapy for the first time ever. And I literally asked my therapist, I'm like, you know, I feel like, you know, I don't fit in and sometimes I don't belong in the room and this and that. And I have these ideas. And, I, and she explained to me that when you are somebody who, especially is the first in your family or first in your peer group or first amongst the people you spend time around or first amongst the people you were raised around to have, you know, to think differently, to actually be willing to show up as who you authentically are. Like, don't be surprised if you don't feel like you fit in because you're first, you know, you're the first to, to truly, you know, have the confidence and the self-worth to, to show up as all of who you are. And I just remember this moment that hit me like a light bulb, so powerful, the light bulb bursts when I realized, oh, I'm not crazy, I'm just first. So I just wanna share this with you today in case these words are for you. You're not crazy, you're just first. You're not odd, you're just first. There's nothing wrong with you. In fact, the things you think are most odd or quirky or wrong with you are actually so often the things that are most right with you the things that are most right with you. And when you are one of the brave ones who is willing to show up in this world as who you authentically are, you are first. So be the first, best, most quirky, odd, fully embracing, talented, gifted, like full expression, best ever, only you who are first.